Nation. Today, I am introducing something to you that I'm very excited about, and that is my new store catalog. All right, so this is my store catalog, and it is digital um, when you download it. And the cool thing about that is that all the links in my table of contents and all the resources in the different sections are all clickable and it'll take you to different parts of my store. So it allows you to move and check out what I got in a more um, natural way. Because sometimes I find it's really hard to look at things and find things um, in teacher stores. Okay, so this is going to simplify the process and it's going to help you streamline your focus. So if you want just back to school, you can click the back to school button in the table of contents. It will take you to the page back to school in the catalog and then um, you can take a look at the resources all laid out nicely. Okay, so let, I'll show you what I mean. So now this is a little bit of a later date version, original version of this um, catalog and is missing a couple of the pages that I currently have now updated because of course my store has grown since I made this and I'm not updating this because this costs like a lot. So <laughs> this is just to show you what it looks like. But if you do um, want to have a print version, you can totally print it off at your work. And then if you're an art teacher and you're using or looking for resources frequently throughout the year, then just have a copy, um, stick it in a duotang beside or staple it, put it in your drawer. So that way you can always take a look and get inspired through the year. Okay, so Ms. Artastic's Art Resources Catalog of 2019, and yep, I will update this, so don't worry. Next year it's going to say 2019, and you can re-download it. So the first thing you're going to find is the table of contents. So um, it goes through all, a lot of the sections in my store, if not more. So about me, I'll have assessments, sketchbooks, elements of art year-long bundles, director drawings, and then all the seasonal themes over on the other side. So for example, if you clicked, if this was a computer or the PDF that you download, you can click Autumn or Halloween or New Year or St. Patrick's Day and it'll click take you to that page. So for example, if you click Back to School, it'll take you to the start of the Back to School section. I believe it is two pages because Back to School there's just a lot you can do. And I have a lot of resources in terms of setting up your classroom and all kinds of things, okay? So when you open it up, um, the second page will show you how to use a catalog. So it's really easy to use. You take a look at the resources and then you click on the one you want to see in my store and it will quickly take you off into a new page, which is my store. So open up your web browser and then take you to directly to that listing, okay? so. Um, in this catalog, I will talk to you um, a little bit about me, Ms. Artastic. Um, so I will introduce you to myself and a little bit about my background. Um, and then I'll also talk about the reasons why I started Ms. Artastic. Okay, so this has been a journey that has been ongoing for many years for me. Um, and I, and I, it's a passion and I'm going to continue to learn and evolve and then bring these things to you guys as well. So, um, it'll take you to sketchbooks. I now have completed all my sketchbook um, units. So I have it for both elementary, middle, and high school now. So if you clicked, for example, middle school, it'll take you to that resource. And yes, you can get this as a bundle to save you some money because that's important. Or if there's a sale, you can get the bundle price plus a sale price on top of that. Just saying. All right. Elements of art, so as you can see, it's easier to look at because it's all laid out nicely in a grid, okay? So you don't have to sit there and scroll endlessly. You can see, scroll past if you don't want to be there, okay? I have all my year-long bundles listed. I have art assessments. Okay, so I have art, how to do art statements, reflections, art critiques, and art critique task cards. So like full, huge um, resources for that. Um, I have growth mindset new this year in my art class, um, in my art store. So lots of um, art resources 
that are growth mindset. So I have growth mindset art projects and also um, units for how to teach and incorporate growth mindset into your art classroom. And yes, there is a freebie there for those of you who want to, so you may want to check it out. And yep, you can get the bundles as well. Okay, and I also have coloring pages in the growth mindset theme as well for those of you who like to have those as a when you're done. I do have ceramics in my store this year, guys. So when you're shopping back to school, make sure you check out the ceramic section in my catalog and in my store. And yes, you can get the bundle, okay? Um, there is now two pages of this in the current catalog version. Um, and, I have, and I will be adding more to this, okay? So I've only gotten up to... I have quite a lot. There's, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot in there. But I just started Halloween and Autumn projects. There's one or two for each in there. And then as the year progresses, I'll start adding like Christmas resources and clay and all the poppies, all those kinds. Okay. So I'll add on to that. Um, please give me time to do that. <laughs> but I intend on doing it. It just takes a lot of, a lot of energy to do all this. Okay. Please be patient. I have directed drawings for the year and yes there is a year-long bundle but for all the seasons and for holidays I do have directed drawings and you should totally do directed drawings in your classroom because it teaches fine motor skills it teaches kids how to follow directions it gives them confidence in drawing so much you need to do directed drawings they love it okay so I have some directed drawings and the kids love doing them I even do these with the older kids they love doing them, okay? So, yeah, grade fives, I totally bring these out once in a while, and they do them. They love them! But, yeah, and I always include um, three examples of finished ones for you to give some ideas and inspiration to your kids. Back to school. I have added a ton this, a ton this year, so please take a look at all my new art tutorials that I have added. I have a llama one, a narwhal, a pen line art, um, some a school bus pop art, uh, painting a dot, perspective name, I have a cute little school supplies resource, um, types of thinking, uh, meowgical, learning is meowgical cat because I mean, hello, love cats. Um, if you didn't know that, I don't, I mean, I don't know what to say. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, you can get all of this as a um, bundle as well. Um, and also, Take a look at my back to school director drawing freebie. So I've offered one of my pages from the director drawing for back to school as a free page that you can totally try out in your art classroom. Um, and I of course have art classroom back to school activities, um, techniques in shading, graffiti art, a caricature pendant banner, um, and ceramic name tile that includes like line, line and additive and subtractive properties on there. So lots of things for you to take a look at. So. Please do. And then it continues on. So then it'll go into autumn. Again, it's laid out in a nice, clean way for you to take a look at Halloween. And as you may notice, it's going in sync with the school year. Okay? Except for Thanksgiving, I think. I put it before Remembrance Day, Veterans Day, because that makes sense where I live. But I actually think, no. Now I look at it, I think you're a veteran. Veterans Day in the United States is before Thanksgiving? I don't know. But anyways, so I have Veterans Day and Remembrance Day art resources. Then it goes on to winter, and it'll keep going on, okay? So you can use this um, and anytime. Summer, what, do I, what should I do for summer? Tutorials. Boom, done. You don't have to scroll. If you print it off, you don't even have to go on to TPT or just have it on your computer ready to go and click links okay at the back I show you some other um, different uh, lines of mine so I have um, end of the year I have makerspace so if you're having a makerspace in your classroom there's a section for that all my coloring pages laid out um, yes all of them are hand drawn it, that took that took me years I drew all of them mm -hmm. uh, so lots of coloring pages. This might be two, yep, two pages of that. I finished the picture. The original finished the picture on Teachers Pay Teachers. And yep, they come in different seasonal topics. The, uh -huh. Come find the original finished the picture at Mizartastic Store. 
and yeah so take a look at the catalog it's free to download and if you are shopping in the any of the sales so for the back to school sale for example this is a really great thing to download beforehand so you can make sure that you are making good choices and finding all the different things that you actually want for your classroom okay so um, take a look at it uh, make some click around browse Leave some feedback, don't leave feedback, whatever. Whatever makes you happy, but I want you to be happy, so um, download it and always check it for updates because I will update it periodically through the year as I add um, big chunks of um, resources to my store. All right, so you guys have an artastic day, and if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at misartastic at gmail.com or head on over to my website at misartastic.com for different ideas and blog posts that share some insight. Um, and also, um, I'll have different links to webinars that I've done on YouTube there as well. Have a great day.